Hi, welcome to our 622 project with Google in which we evaluated Google Assistant. We conducted this evaluation so our client could better understand its users and their usability issues. Google Assistant, or GA, is a voice-controlled virtual assistant for mobile phones and other smart devices. In January 2019, Google announced that GA would soon be installed on over 1 billion devices. It supports 30 languages in 80 countries. Our research goal was to better understand how users ages 16 to 26 interact with mobile voice assistants and identify any of their unmet needs. First, we'll explain the methods we used. We started with an interaction map, followed by interviews, a comparative evaluation, a survey, a heuristic evaluation, and usability tests. The interaction map helped us visualize how users might currently interact with Google Assistant. Next, we began our interviews. First, we interviewed our two stakeholders. Then, we interviewed six users in our target demographic in order to understand how they use voice assistants. Then we conducted a comparative evaluation, comparing Google Assistant to competitors in the voice assistant space, such as Amazon's Alexa, Apple's Siri, Microsoft's Cortana, and Samsung's Bixby. Our next step was to send out a survey, which had 51 total participants and 16 in our target demographic. Then we conducted a heuristic evaluation using Nielsen's heuristic criteria. These evaluations helped us choose appropriate tasks for our next method, usability tests. Finally, we conducted usability tests with eight users. We asked users to complete tasks using GA, such as texting, taking a photo, and sending an email. After conducting our research, we identified three major use cases for our target demographic. One was using GA on the go, often in the car, two, using GA at home, especially when hands-free, and three, using GA for organization. Within these areas, users tended to use voice for simple tasks, such as getting directions while driving. For complex tasks, they would often perform the task manually and avoid using voice altogether. Next, we identified three personas that represent GA users between the ages of 16 and 26. Persona one is a high school student, he primarily uses his phone for entertainment, not organization. We found that he messages more frequently within social media apps than within his native phone app. He also tends to drive places he's familiar with. These are all reasons he uses voice less often than adults. Persona 2 is a college student who uses voice for simple tasks, but doesn't trust that it will work for complicated tasks. She would use it more if she knew her task would be successful on the first try. Persona 3 is a working adult under the age of 26 who uses his phone similarly to adults over 26. Because of this, we focus most of our research on college students. This brings us to our Persona's top three pain points, accuracy, privacy, and functionality. These findings were universal across our interviews, survey, heuristic evaluations, and usability tests. The first pain point is accuracy. Accuracy was a key reason users in our target demographic didn't use voice technology more often. Users felt they had to computer speak to make GA understand them. Multi-step commands often failed for complicated tasks. And users expected GA to remember the context of their previous conversations, but it wasn't able to. I have an appointment at Cafe Zola on the 17th. Can you add that to my calendar? Six o'clock. Or can you on Wednesday at 6 p.m. in Cafe Zola? Do you want to save that? While we know Google is already working to improve GA's accuracy, we have a few recommendations as well. Firstly, text on the dedicated buttons can't always be used to give a command to GA, but if it could, then that could be an easy way to educate users about how to word a task correctly. For example, if you make a note, and on the bottom of the screen, a help button says, read my notes to me. But if you say to GA, read my notes to me, it responds with saving note because it doesn't understand what you're asking. Our recommendation for this is to improve predictability. 
We found some users preferred to give step-by-step -step commands, while others liked to give instructions in one command. Being able to use either option for simple and complex tasks would make GA more consistent and give users more confidence that their tasks will succeed. We also recommend that when a user creates an event, such as a restaurant reservation within GA, GA should prompt them to save the event in their calendar. The second pain point we wanted to identify was privacy. Many users express privacy concerns around using voice assistance. We recommend that Google consider letting users use GA without a Google account, like Cortana. This would greatly reduce GA's abilities, but in turn reassure privacy-concerned users. We also recommend auto-deleting the user's stored data after a reasonable period of time, like Siri. Our third pain point was that GA's current functionality didn't always meet users' expectations, and some tasks did not go as smoothly as predicted. For example, users were interrupted when speaking long commands. They also felt frustrated they couldn't edit their commands after saying them. They had to re-record the entire message in order to fix any part of it, which makes long messages, like emails, particularly frustrating. Users also couldn't edit existing calendar events or notes with voice. For example, most users failed at first to create a new note because they thought GA needed a subject line before it would record the rest of the note. When they tried to add the body of the note, they weren't able to do so. Finally, we found email was the most difficult task. Users couldn't spell or say an email address or format their message. Email a fleck at umish.edu. A F L E C. Sorry. Oh. A F L E C K at umish.edu. Not finding a match in your contacts. Tell me just the first name or feel free to use the screen. Affleck? I'm sorry, I'm not finding a match. You might want to check the contact list on your phone. Mm -hmm. Our recommendations for added functionality include 1. Adding a pause button and being able to say pause. This would be especially useful for tasks with long voice transcriptions. 2. Users would like to be able to edit a text or email with the keyboard. With email, it might be helpful to save it as a draft so it could be formatted later within Gmail. 3. Since our users were confused about how to create a note or calendar event, and often needed to correct it. They need to be able to edit existing events and notes. Four, most of our users didn't store email addresses in their contacts, which made them likely to give up on emailing someone using voice. They'd like to be able to type out or say a new email address. Thank you for watching our presentation. This was brought to you by Team CAYK. Courtney, Ashley, Yankun, and Kay.